Let us watch on to find out more. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try or contact any of our centers near you. รายการในวันนี้จะนําเสนอในภาษาอังกฤษด้วยคําบรรยายในภาษาอาหรับเอาหลักที่รู้จักกันว่าเวียดนามบัลเจเรียจีนโคเอเซียเชกอังกฤษฝรั่งเศสเยอรมันอินเดีฮังการีอินโดนีเซียอิตาลีญี่ปุ่นเกาหลีมาเลยูมองโกเลียเปอร์เซียโปลแลนด์โปรตุเกสปัญจาบโรมิเนียรัสเซียสเปนและไทยขอทักทายด้วยไมตรีจิตท่านผู้ชมที่มีเสน่ห์ดิฉันชื่อสุภาพจากสระบ,บุรีในประเทศไทยที่น่าหลงไหลประเทศไทยเป็นประเทศที่เต็มไปด้วยสิ่งน่าอัศจรรย์และน่าฉงนที่ราบสูงที่ลึกลับทางตอนเหนือได้รับพระพรด้วยบริเวณพื้นที่มหาศาลที่เป็นป่าดึกดำบรรพ์และน้ำตกที่งดงามทิวทัศน์ท้องทะเลอันน่าทึ่งทางภาคใต้มีหาดทรายที่ยืดยาวออกไปไม่รู้จบท่ามกลางหมู่เกาะหลายร้อยเกาะภูเก็ตและพัทยาเป็นที่นิยมในวันหยุดพักผ่อนของครอบครัวและแน่นอนกรุงเทพมหานครที่ไม่เคยหลับและมีชีวิตชีวาเต็มไปด้วยสิ่งที่น่าตื่นเต้นประเทศไทยมีชื่อเสียงในเรื่องผลไม้เขตร้อนที่อุดมสมบูรณ์และอาหารที่มีกลิ่นหอมยังเป็นประเทศที่ที่มีกลิ่นหอมยังเป็นประเทศที่ส่งออกข้าวที่ใหญ่ที่สุดในโลกด้วยด้วยมากกว่า11ล้านตันที่ได้ส่งออกในปีคศ2017ในฐานะที่เป็นประเทศพุทธปูชนียสถานและวัดนับไม่ถ้วนปกป้องและให้ความสงบสุขแก่ชาวไทยที่มีมิตรเมตีและอูบอ้อมอาลีเป็นความปิติยินดีที่ได้มาแบ่งปันความงดงามอันเป็นเอกลักษณ์ของประเทศไทยแบบหนึ่งกับท่านเราปรารถนาให้หัวใจของท่านรู้สึกถึงการเชื่อมต่ออย่างใกล้คิดกับธรรมชาติทั้งมวลกว่าสามทศวรรษท่านอนุตราจารย์ชิงไห่ได้ทำให้โลกของเราสว่างสวัยด้วยคำสอนจากสวรรค์ของท่านอาจารย์ผู้รู้แจ้งอย่างสมบูรณ์ท่านถ่ายทอดการทำสมาธิวิถีกวนอิมสู่กลุ่มคนที่ปรารถนาที่จะค้นพบธรรมชาติของพระเจ้าภายในในทันทีและเพื่อบรรลุหลุดพ้นจากสังสารวัตรชั่วนิรันดร์ในชาติเดียววิถีกวนอิมเป็นที่ปฏิบัติกันโดยศาสดาผู้รู้แจ้งทุกพระองค์เช่นพระพุทธเจ้าพระเยซูคิดศาสดาโมฮัมหมัดขอสันติสุขจงมีแด่ท่านและคุณุนานักท่านเน้นย้ำว่าถ้าเราจดจำพระเจ้าเสมอรับใช้ผู้อื่นอย่างไร้ตัวตนและทำตามกฎจักรวาลเราจะเข้าถึงศักยภาพสูงสุดของมนุษย์และจะเข้าใจจุดมุ่งหมายของเราบนโลกอย่างแท้จริงท่านอนุตราจารย์เชียงไห่เป็นตัวอย่างพิเศษที่ยังคงอยู่ของความเมตตาท่านส่งความช่วยเหลือด้านวัตถุและการเงินและความรักอยู่เสมออ
ให้กับผู้ลี้ภัยผู้ไร้บ้านเหยื่อภัยพิบัติธรรมชาติและงานบรรเทาทุกข์อื่นๆที่จำเป็นในคอส2006ท่านได้รับรางวัลสันติภาพกูซี่และได้รับการพิจารณาเข้ารับรางวัลโนเวลสาขาสันติภาพแห่งตะวันออกและได้รับเกียรติตลอดหลายปีที่ผ่านมาด้วยรางวัลอื่นๆมากมายและรางวัลสำหรับการกระทำที่ใจบุญมีมนุษยธรรมอันโดดเด่นของท่านเสียงที่แท้จริงสำหรับเพื่อนสัตว์ที่งดงามของเราท่านส่งเสริมการทานอาหารจากพืชที่สงบสุขและเปี่ยมด้วยรักและจินตนาการว่ามวลมนุษยชาติตื่นขึ้นรับรู้ถึงความศักดิ์สิทธิ์ของทุกชีวิตโลกทั้งโลกเป็นวีเกนที่สงบสุขและลุ่งโลดเป็นโลกที่สัตว์และคนใช้ชีวิตด้วยความปองดองผาสุขการลิเริ่มเพื่อเผยแพร่แนวทางวีเกนของท่านมีหลากหลายรวมถึงการแจกใบปลิวทางเลือกใหม่ในการดำรงชีวิตเครือข่ายร้านอาหารวีเกนนานาชาติหรือวิ่งฮัตโทรทัศน์สุพีมาเตอร์และการพูดคุยกับรัฐบาลและผู้นำสื่อที่มีอิทธิพลอยู่เป็นประจำและการเข้าร่วมการประชุมที่ถ่ายทอดทางโทรทัศน์เรื่องการเปลี่ยนแปลงภูมิอากาศไม่ว่าเราจะรับรู้มันหรือไม่ความพยายามของท่านมีอิทธิพลอย่างมากต่อความตื่นตัวทั่วโลกเกี่ยวกับวิถีชีวิตที่เป็นมิตรกับสัตว์และหนทางแห่งเมตตานี้สามารถนำสันติสุขอันยืนยาวมาสู่ประเทศต่างๆในขณะที่ปกป้องโลกของเราจากการเปลี่ยนแปลงภูมิอากาศท่านอนุตราจารย์ชิงไห่ได้เดินทางทั่วโลกนานหลายปีตั้งแต่ทวีปอเมริกาถึงแอฟริกายุโรปถึงหมู่เกาะโอเซียเนียในแปซิฟิกและจัดปาทคถาหลายร้อยครั้งกับสาธารณชนและสิทธิ์ของท่านในหัวข้อจิตวิญญาณต่างๆหลายหัวข้อวันนี้เราได้รับพระพรที่จะนำเสนอบรรยายธรรมที่ลึกซึ้งเรื่องหนึ่งชื่อว่าแผนสันติภาพทุกแผนจะสำเร็จตอนที่หกของหกตอนในระหว่างอาจารย์กับลูกศิษย์บรรยายเป็นภาษาอังกฤษเมื่อวันที่สิบสี่เมษายนพศ2013ลอสเอนเจลิสสหรัฐอเมริกามาสเตอร์ฉันคิดว่ามีผู้ชายและผู้หญิงในโลกสังคมทางสังคมและนั่นคือหตุผลหรือเพราะว่าไม่ควรจะเป็นสตรีหรือเปล่าในโลกสวรรค์ใช่ในโลกสูงสุดไม่มีผู้ชายและผู้หญิงต่างกันแต่ฉันไม่สามารถแสดงความคิดเห็นแบบนี้ได้ถ้าเขาอยากแต่ไม่มีความต้องการระหว่างผู้หญิงและผู้หญิงใช่ไหม So from from uh, the third level up, there is no more gender. No, no. In astral level, still have gender, yeah, but they don't have what we call like sex on this planet, huh? They have just love, yeah. Understand. So maybe desire to be near each other to do things together, but not so um, very uh, physical like on this planet. And uh, master, do people in heaven have uh, different ethnicities for diversity? And um, if so, are there ethnicities similar to those on Earth? If they choose to manifest themselves in different skin color, they do it for fun. <laughs> <laughs> But nobody discriminates. And the higher heaven, there's no no form, no color of skin. It's just light surrounding body, ethereal body. You know. So beings over there, they just. Uh, Choose whatever ethnicity, appearance, and gender they want to look like. Yes, if they want to. Yes, they do anything they want. <laughs> Just as a matter of seconds, at their thought, so there will be. Yeah. Yes, master. Thank you, master. You're welcome. Uh, master, is it true that uh, heavenly beings have different jobs in heaven, and uh, do most jobs revolve around uplifting the beings in lower levels? 
Yeah, they have jobs, they have creativity, they do what they like. And if they choose to help uh, uh, other lower beings, then they can do that. Or they don't choose to, then they also they don't have to do it. It depends on what happens as well, yeah? So is it the higher levels uh, where beings are more concerned or less concerned about helping those in the lower levels? Or is it... Yeah, from the fifth level to the maybe third, second, or astral, then some beings are concerned to help humans or because they still have affinity with humans. But above fifth level, they are not really concerned too much. I see. They're more concerned with, I guess, the regulation of the universe or that sort of job? It's, it's just different, completely different than here. Completely different than what our concept is about what good, what bad is. Then what we should do, what we should not do. You know I mean? They, they have other things. They, they just enjoy themselves and they don't hear us. Yeah? They don't hear you suffering here. That's why Master has to come down. That's why Master has to be in all different levels and connected with all beings in order to know what their suffering are. Yeah? Okay? If the Master just stay uh, on one level or just above the sixth level, above seven, eight, ten, nine, then the master also don't hear anything, don't see anything, no connection with the suffering down here. Okay? Yes, yes. Do you know anybody that physically you really know and see them suffering in hell, do you? No, no master. No, okay, you see? Same like that. Because you're not connected down there in hell. Understand? Yes, master. Same with the people above six level. They have nothing to do with us anymore. Um, Master, what about the uh, heavenly Dharma guards? Uh, if heaven is peaceful, why are they needed? It depends on what heaven. Uh, or maybe it's just a job to keep other lower level beings from going up there. Um, Master, is the purpose of heavenly food and water like heavenly nectar just for fun, or is it something heavenly beings can consume to gain merit? No, only low level heavens need any even astral food. Higher heaven, they need nothing. They're self-contained, they're self, self-sufficient. They don't need anything. They don't even think of food. There's no such thing as food in their mind or in their being or in their soul, nothing. No need. Mm-hmm. And, and the astral beings who eat food, that's just, is it to sustain themselves or is it? Yeah, some do, some don't. Yeah? Just like in this world, some people are breatharian. Some people consume food, some people take fruit only, some people just drink only, yeah? Yes, Master. Depends on their destiny and also their choice, also their karmic background. On the third level, the fourth level, the fifth level, no food, okay? No food, no drink necessary. Understood, Master. Uh, Thank you very much, Master. You're welcome. Master, does does sadness exist in heaven? Because Master had previously mentioned that we would feel extremely regretful in heaven if we see our um, fellow practitioners pass us by and go to higher realms because we ourselves didn't practice well during our time in the physical world. So is it possible to feel sad at times like that while in heaven? Of course, if you're in a low heaven, like after... Uh, Astral is full of emotion there, okay? Almost like human here. So you have to go higher in order to pass the level of emotion. Okay? Yes, yeah. Master. The astral is emotion. The second is intellectual. Still thinking, wanting, and all that. The third level is it's more restful. But higher level, you don't think anything anymore. Okay? You are happy, self-satisfied. Master, sometimes fellow initiates travel to different heavenly realms in their meditation, but they don't know which level they're visiting. So when we die and go to heaven, how will we know exactly which level we're at if we don't recognize the surroundings? There are different landscapes and the sound that represent each region. Even, the, for example, astral, they have different uh, heavens or different realms like 120 of them in the astral level. But you still have similar sound and, and similar scenery. And even if you don't know when you die, the master will take you and show you where, and you know it. Oh, thank you, Master. Welcome. Master, um, my next question is, within the five realms and even up to the ninth realm, 
Does an individual soul exist forever once it's created? Or are there ways for a soul to cease to exist as an individual? On the fifth level? Um, within the five realms and, and even up to the ninth. Yes, yes, yes. Exist also as an individual. But as a whole at the same time. Yeah? One as an individual. But they exist for forever, Master, once they're created? Yeah, one day on the fifth level, they exist forever. In the lower realm, maybe not. Or maybe exist, but uh, suffering. And, you know, sometimes feeling like annihilated or crap. Huh? On the fifth level, at least four level, or fifth level, you're completely free. How, Master, how do they get destroyed? Not, not destroy, not destroy, just uh, inhibit it. Or maybe destroy with two cores, yeah? Two cores. Burned, huh? Burned by cosmic fire. You know, stuck into a black hole. Oh. And forever stay there. Or kept in hell, you know, forever. In the Buddhist, there is a name called the name of Yang. It means eternal hell. Only people with extreme sinful life and wicked uh, heart will go there. Mostly in hell, there's limits of time, and there will be redemption. I see. Master, um, are, are new individual souls ever formed or ever created? Mm, yes, some. So do newly created souls always have to start off in like a primitive form and slowly develop in a, in, into a more complete form? No. No? No, it depends on where they are created and who created them. If a lower level God created them, yes, maybe, but if a higher level created them, then no. A new, new soul will create it only when really necessary. Well, we have enough souls already all over the universe. Wow. That's amazing, Master. Uh, Thank you, Master. You're welcome. Master, are there a lot of physical universes? Yes, a lot, a lot. Wow. But uh, I would sum it up like an entire universe. You know, one. One, but uh, like, uh, you know, section-wise. That's all, okay? Only one. Yes, okay. Master. Understand. And does this big one universe also go through cycles of birth and destruction? Or will they always exist? Oh, they go to they go to burn and destruction. It depends on how what level they are. Okay. Yes, master. And has our universe ever been destroyed before? This one. Yes, master. Yes. Oh, wow. May we know how and why our universe was destroyed? When it's not good enough to exist anymore, then uh, make new one. It's like a house when it's uh, too. Uh, too, too much uh, ruin and damage, then uh, they pull it down and use the soil and the, the land and to build a new one. And whatever the bricks there, they recycle and make cement out of it and to build a new house. Or just don't, just use new material, build a new house. Okay? Yes, Master. Right. How about the spiritual universe? Does it also go through a cycle? No, no. It is the highest spiritual universe, no. They exist forever. Wow. Since God created the universe, and is there a point in time when all physical and spiritual worlds return to God and nothing exists anymore? No, no, no. It's not like that. There are some are coarse and some are fine. Fine one will stay there forever already with God and never leave God. And the coarse one has to all... It depends on how coarse it has to be re recycled, re-screening, and all that. And the, the lower coarse universe are not created by God. It's a leftover and created like second-hand, third-hand, fifth-hand from a lower level of energy. Understand? I already explained that in Hungarian retreat. Yes, Master. Thank you, Master. You're welcome. Master, um, for people who have near-death experiences, how far a level can they reach? It depends on, mostly they just go to the astral level. That's why they can come back. If they're far gone to the second or third level even, they cannot come back anymore. 
because the astral world has a threshold between astral and this world. It's an our neighbor. You see, only people go to hell or astral heaven can come back to this world afterwards. Otherwise, they cannot. Okay? Oh, yes, Master. Yeah. Yeah. So only astral heaven then. But astral heaven is very beautiful, eh? You go there and you think it's the ultimate. You never want to come back here. You never imagine that anything could be more important, more, more glorious, more beautiful than the astral heaven that you happen to see. Yes, Master. Master, how important is it for people's minds to believe in God? Or is it more important that there's a spiritual master doing the work quietly, elevating their souls, even if their mind is unaware of God and even doesn't believe in God? Their mind does not believe what their soul knows God. That's important. That's why and the master don't care about the mind. Master only uplift the soul. So bypassing the mind. That's why the mind cannot do anything. It doesn't know. Otherwise if you have to go through the mind and, and force people to believe in God then they never never done. Mm -hmm. The soul is always good and and recognizing God. Yeah? It's just that if master is not there and not separating more the soul from the mind, then the soul will be entangled with the mind, and then uh, whatever the mind makes, the soul will suffer. Okay, if the mind makes the body do something bad, then the soul will suffer because the soul will not realize that he is a separate entity. He's so used to with the body and the mind that he thinks that's what it is. So wherever the mind goes, whatever the mind does, whatever the body does, the soul feel attached to it. The soul feel involved with it. That's why it cannot be liberated. But the master uplifting the soul consciousness makes the soul realize that you are not the body. You can be better. You are free, for example, okay? Then slowly or fast, the soul learns that is the truth. The soul gets liberation, or at least uplifted to a higher level, okay? Avoid hell. Yes, master. And... Master, finally, may we know what you have been doing since you last spoke with us this past Christmas? What am I doing? <laughs> Cleaning the house. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sitting the dogs. Uh, uh, meditating a lot, a lot. We discover new dimensions. And of course, and, uh, I don't know what else it is. I forgot, you know, doing some charity work quietly. Oh. Wherever I need somebody, need help, or if I happen to see, and I know it's uh, going to hospital, having operation, having all the teeth, uh, uh, trouble uh, from nowhere, and oh my God, uh, all kind of things. Uh, trying to think of uh, what else is better for the world and to the universe, always trying to do research. Hmm? Oh. Yes, Master. And what else I do, I write some letters to some important people to encourage them to lead people to vegan and peaceful life. Yeah, vegan and peace. And uh, giving some instruction to, to reward some organization that I know, I happen to know, uh, you know, that helps the wild animals, giving some charity, some donation uh, to helps the uh, animal like elephants, uh, for example, like that, yeah? Don't remember much more, oh, a lot of things, and I sometimes forget things. <laughs> but more or less. But the uh, most important is that uh, I am on retreat all the time, huh? And mostly I don't go out, huh? Mostly I don't go out. And uh, I only watch TV uh, now and then, uh, I mean, just to know what, uh, where I can help, okay? Just to know uh, if anything really dangerous for the world to try to help. Or see if people have a uh, flood, like uh, Argentina recently, so I just send money and tell people to send money and send help, you know, manpower and financial power. Or Iran, Iran have a recent earthquake, for example, like that. Oh, Master, you do so much. Not really, no. No, it's okay, but these are just physical things. It's a normal, you know, neighborly help. Yes, Master. Master, I'd like to share a quick, uh, nice story about um, one of the Loving the Silent Tears cast members. Yeah. Mark Yanichello, he wrote you the letter before, and, and he, had a, he had a dream, and he saw you, Master, in his dream. And he said that the dream was very beautiful and peaceful, and 
He had a beautiful conversation with you, Master. And um, he told us that he wishes that Master is doing well. Uh-huh. Good. <laughs> But that's a soul level. Huh? I'm always well there. <laughs> We wish you are well in the physical realm, too. Yeah, possible. Possible in the future, possible. I look into it as you have requested. Wow, that's so... We'll pray for it, Master. We'll wait until that day and we'll yeah, celebrate. Yeah, I have said a way now that I am very blessed with uh, so much uh, spiritual universal power. I guess there may be the way, huh? I just didn't think about it. So I used it with uh, suffering. I <laughs> didn't think about it. Yes, Master, there will be a way. Uh, okay. Anything else? Yes, Master, this was our last question. There was a lot of questions today and we are really grateful for your answers and your patience and your love. And we would like to invite you, Master, to, to share any message that you may have for our world at this time. Hmm. I think about it. I'm also very grateful that although my battery of, for this uh, uh, mobile phone very thing we lasted <laughs> three hours already. More than three hours, my God. It's a good, good phone. <laughs> Just a very normal, simple phone. It's not iPhone or anything. It's just a, a simple, old-fashioned phone. <laughs> yeah, because I don't know how to use a bigger phone, you know, those iPhone and all that. It's just too complicated uh, and no necessary. Uh, all I need is just to talk and to receive talk and to text. <laughs> But this phone uh, cannot receive text even. Cannot receive, can text, but cannot receive sometimes if it's too long distance. I think... I have so many messages already. The thing is, they have, they just have to practice it, not just what I told, but what they put into their heart and practice for their own good and for the good of the world. Now, if I have to say again, I just repeat the same. Like, should concentrate on doing good things. Pray and meditate whatever way you can to the highest possible spiritual power. Eliminate evils tendency in all corners of your life. Remember God at all times. Be grateful to whatever you have and all the blessing all over around you and in your life. Pray for the world's wellness. Be vegan. Make peace. And be grateful for your beautiful life and enjoy your short but beautiful existence. That's what I would say again. Okay, love. Thank you, Master. Okay, anything else? Yes, um, most treasured and beautiful Master, we are really uh, grateful for you sharing your precious time with us during this conference. Um, your words of wisdom warm our hearts and give us much hope as always. And, and it, it was very sad to hear you talking about your, your down moment and that you, you, would, like, you would maybe sometimes need a, a shoulder, a shoulder to, to lie. And we just want to let you know that you have a lot of shul sh we, shoulders here that we can lend you. Many shoulders. <laughs> to lie on. Thank you. Thank you, my love. Our planet and universe are truly blessed, Master, to be showered with your love and compassion. And, and we pray that you are always protected, healthy and at peace, Master. May your vision for a loving vegan world soon be realized. And uh, with our deepest heartfelt gratitude, we all wish to say we love you, Master, so much. Thank you, thank you. And I love you many, many fold more. And may you be blessed a lot abundantly and blessed forever. May you be always more enlightened, more safe, more happy, more healthy, more content, and above all, nearer and nearer to God. Hmm? Thank you so much, Master. You. We love you, Master. I love you too. And thank you for all the shoulders over there. <laughs> 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 well, in the future, if uh, whenever I need, I probably will call you and um, tell you that oh, please uh, send uh, one or two shoulders over here. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe take turn, eh? <laughs> They will always be here for you, Master. Thank you very much.
Okay. I was also uh, happy to be able to talk to you. And nowadays, the techniques is wonderful. Even we don't see each other, we can hear each other and feel the love, yeah, between us. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Very much. Okay. Wow. Time to go. I also don't feel like going, but I should go back to my meditation. Yes, have a good meditation, Master. Thank you. Same to you. Please take care of yourself, Master. I had forgotten to ask if you're okay there. If you like anything, do I need to give you anything? Nothing, oh, Master. No, Master. We are very fine here, very happy. Yes, okay. Uh, or if I uh, need anything, then whenever I call, can tell me, huh? Sure, Master. You need any money, anything, or food, or clothing, or anything? Uh, we have uh, we have a lot of food and a lot of clothes and lots of happiness yeah. and everything, Master. We Thank have everything much. already, Master, because we have you. Wonderful, wonderful. It's good to hear. Good to hear. Yeah. I would really like to, to, to have you around sometime, really, I do. Or I would really like to go there and stay with you. But at the moment, uh, is I have to stay at uh, a different place and... Uh, maybe, who knows, okay? I have to do a different thing, and you do different things. We do it together as a team, yeah? Yes, Master. Yes, master. Different, but teamwork. Yes. <laughs> different yes, job, master. teamwork. Okay. I love you very much. I appreciate your presence and your intelligent questions. And maybe in the future, we might talk again, huh? God bless. Yes, Ciao. Thank you, Master. Please take we care, you, master. master. Yeah, love, love. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye, Bye Master. ชมที่สงบสุขเราชื่นชมที่ท่านอยู่เป็นเพื่อนเราสำหรับรายการในวันนี้ที่มีชื่อว่าแผนสันติภาพทุกแผนจะสำเร็จตอนที่6ของ6ตอนในระหว่างอาจารย์กับลูกศิษย์โปรดอยู่รับชมโทรทัศน์สุพีมาเตอร์สำหรับรายการทางบวกที่มากกว่านี้รายการต่อไปคือการเทศนาของไมเตอร์เอ็ดคาของฝันที่ลุ่มรวยทางกิจวิญญาณตอนที่สองของสองตอนในถ้อยคำแห่งปัญญาขอให้พุทธาประทานพรทั้งหลายให้แก่ท่านแห่งความรักที่อ่อนโยนของพระองค์มีสุขภาพดีและมีความสุขตลอดชีวิต May Buddha grant you All the blessings of his gentle love, and a lifetime of health and happiness. For more details, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash bmd.